But let's talk about some things going on right now. Now, uh, in previous podcasts, we've talked about the payout that every American citizen may or may not receive. And we had speculated that April 6th was going to be the date that we would see this check. And we originally speculated it would be as much as $2,000. And when it got passed and when it was all said and done, we ended up getting about $1,200. And we're still waiting on a date as to when this is going to be released to us. Now, I will tell you, from from what I've read, from what I've gathered, and from the people that I've talked to, uh, small businesses are already starting to apply to basically see if they can figure out a way to get a certain amount of money from the government. And there's a bunch of conditions set on the money that the government gives these small businesses. And because eMusk Media LLC is a company, excuse me, it's an LLC, I guess is what I should say. Uh, we, we had to kind of look into these matters ourselves. And so obviously through doing our due diligence and talking to a few other business owners, there's, there's definitely a lot going on on the small business side. And as far as small businesses are concerned, it's really interesting. We saw Bank of America uh, trending quite a bit in the past 48 hours since all of this has gone down. And if you guys have heard anything uh, about this, basically Bank of America, uh, which is a place where a lot of people, not only do they do their personal banking, they also do business, like small businesses as well. And what ended up happening from what we've seen in some of these news stories and some of these personal accounts is that some of these small businesses were not allowed to basically take uh, advantage of some of this new bailout money that they are trying to give these small businesses. And so it's really interesting to kind of see how this all shapes out. And um, like I said, it just seems like these small businesses are trying to get money to pay their workers, right? And and that's kind of what it all boils down to. We have a breakdown. Whenever people don't go out, there's nobody spending money. So these businesses can no longer afford to pay their employees because it's not like they're sitting on stockpiles of money. I mean, if you look at these kind of diff- these businesses, let's let's kind of think about these different businesses that people own. Like for example, restaurants. So if your restaurant has to shut down for a month, like you still have to rent a building and you still have to pay, you know, your, your rent on that building unless you own the building. And so on top of that, which is usually your biggest expense, on top of that, you've got all your operations people that usually are, you know, your behind the scenes people. You've got your people that come in and do your prep. And then obviously you've got your servers and all those people that are no longer working hours because maybe your restaurant is no longer open or maybe they're not getting as many customers. And so that's causing a lot of small businesses to have a lot of pressure. And so part of the reason why the government bailed out a a lot of small businesses is their thought process is, hey, let's try to give some money to these small businesses so they can stay afloat and pay their workers because that's what the loan is actually for. Uh, and, and basically, the loan that the government will conditionally bail you out on, it can be forgiven. So like you can be a small business and you can pay people that work for you, but you cannot necessarily like hire you know like new people. And there, there's like a lot of different things about this. In terms of, and it's called, basically, a lot of people are calling it the PPP loan. Uh, And as far as uh, what that stands for, it's the Paycheck Protection Program. And like I said, I'm not, uh, you should seek legal advice and tax advice from a professional. (laughs) Uh, Not necessarily a school teacher slash high school coach slash, you know, small business owner. But like I said, from what I've read and from what I've been been told and, and, and kind of counseled on, it seems like uh, this is basically designated to help people pay their employees while their business may not have too much business. And so it's a really good idea. Uh, it's just, unfortunately, like I said, Bank of America is catching a lot of flack 
because they are not allowing people to take advantage of this program. Now, there's various reasons why they're not allowing them. Like one example is that some small businesses never borrow money. So because they never borrow money, uh, the bank is not lending them money uh, in this time in certain cases. And so like it's really interesting. And if you bank with Bank of America right now, a lot of people are super upset, especially small businesses, because of that.